Okay, this is question number nine on the uh, multiple choice, and it says, find the domain of log base 5 of 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Okay, so first we have to try to figure out how are we going to find the domain? What, what are the characteristics of a log function, right? Um, so let's, let's graph what logs normally look like. Don't uh, be distracted by this base of 5. Every log has the same uh, characteristic, right? So they're all going to look like, like this, where they have some sort of um, vertical asymptote, and the only thing that differs is maybe the vertical asymptote is shifted over side to side, and maybe this value here is shifted up and down. But the characteristic of having a vertical asymptote is what I'm saying doesn't really change between different base logs and between things that are inside of the log, okay? So basically, from here we see that uh, the whatever is inside of the function has to be greater than uh, zero. So basically, the domain would be uh, the x's that meet this requirement of 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 greater than zero. Okay, so what we're going to do now, since this is uh, quadratic and we can factor it out and solve for x's, let's make this e uh, be an equality where we switch this greater than sign for an equal sign. So we're going to do that because it kind of simplifies having to move this equality to negative, to greater than or less than if there's negatives and that kind of thing, keeping track. So what we'll do is make an inequality and then draw a number line to see where the domain actually is. Okay, so that will take care of my inequality. And you'll see in a minute what I mean by all this. So let's say we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equal to 0, okay? And now, I can either divide all this by 2, or I could go ahead and say, okay, 4 times 2 is 8. So to get a positive 7, uh, I could do 8 multiplied times, times 1, I could do 2 times 4. So to get a 7, uh, positive 7, I'm going to choose to keep my positive 8 and then my negative 1. That will give me positive 7 is added, and it would give me a, a negative 4, 4 times 2, if multiplied. So then, this is a little trick that many people don't know, and this is the way I learned how to do these. If it confuses you, you could always do your own way as, as long as you get the same answer. You could also always do quadratic formula too, but uh, it's going to take a little longer if you do quadratic formula. But so my trick is, I multiply these two, and I find the, the values that work. And then you divide each one of these by the, the number that's in front of the x squared, so the 2, right? So basically, I converted this one to a 4, and I converted this one to a negative 1 half. So when you write it, it, it comes out to be x plus 4, x minus 1 half. Okay, that's, but normally you don't see it written like that, so you could also take this 2 and put it here, and it's the same thing, 2x minus 1. So, uh, when you solve for it, it'll give you the same thing as if you solve for this one equal to 0. This might be confusing again, but um, if you understand what I'm saying, and what I'm doing here, and it seems easy to you, you can practice on your own, make sure you're getting it before you choose to use this as a way you do it, um, as a way you solve for your x's. So, and I, I still keep my x plus 4. So in this case, basically, the x's I'm going to end up getting are negative 4 and positive 1 half from here, when they equal to 0. So now I'm going to draw a number line to see where the domain is, because this could mean that my domain is in between negative 4 and positive 1 half. It could also mean that my domain is from negative infinity to negative 4, and then break, and then from 1 half to, to infinity. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw where each of my numbers are. This is 0, and here's a positive.
than one half. Okay, and since I, I put this to be greater than and not greater than or equal to, these are going to have to be open circles. Okay, so if I have a closed circle, that means that also equals a number. If I have an open circle, it means that uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't count that number. And so now basically I have to test values on this, on this side of the four, the four then on this side of between the two points, and then the, on the other side of one half. So let's test the one in the middle first since I have a zero here, and that's pretty easy to put in. If I put a zero into here, I get positive four times negative one half, which is negative. So in this area, I have a negative. Let's see if we plug in negative five, and I'm plugging into the factor form because it's it's simpler than than having to square it and having such big numbers to deal with. So over here, if I plug in negative five, I get negative five plus four, which is negative one, times negative five minus one half is going to give me another negative number. I don't even need to know know what that number is. So in this side, I have a negative number times a negative number. That means over here, I'm having a positive number. And then if I plug in a 1, I get 1 plus 4 is positive. 1 minus 1 half is also positive. So here, I also have a positive. So now let's go back and see what we're looking for. We're looking for greater than 0, which means positive. So what that means is I want every number that's over here and over here. And I don't want anything in between because those are negatives. So basically, my domain is from negative infinity to negative 4. And I'm going to put a parenthesis and not a bracket because a parenthesis means that I'm not counting 4. So 4 is not in the domain. It's up to 4 and it's got an open circle. And then I'm going to put this unit and then 1 half to infinity. So that's my domain. And one more thing I'd like to point out, if you, instead of getting positive minus positive, you would have gotten positive, positive, and minus, sometimes that gets a little confusing, but what you need to do is make a domain that goes from negative infinity to negative 4, and then still you, you um, put the unit and then you put from negative 4 to, to 1 half. You can't just combine all that if there's an open circle in between. So be aware of that. If there's a closed circle, then you can just combine it all into one. But if not, you can't. So in this case, the answer for this question is E, which is the same thing as this domain.